What's up, guys? It's OG Bluesman, aka 2A Tarzan. And it is 12921, and I have your 2A news for today. So, today, in Ohio, Republican Representative Mike Loichik proposes Ohio as a 2A sanctuary state, which would mean that if there was a federal, say, a tax stamp proposed on AR 15s, there would be no fees, prohibits any taxes, anything like that in the state of Ohio. Also, would prohibit forcing you to register your weapon. Like, there's no reason to have to register an AR-15. There's no re reason to have to register any weapon at all. But uh, this would prohibit any of that. So, go Mike Loichick, you're the man. Um, next, as of today, Biden has signed 42 executive orders as opposed to the average president's 14 in the first hundred days I made that anyway <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna talk about every one of those because um, really it's just not 2A related um, when it gets 2A related believe me I will be talking about those. So far, the only thing that I really see that's just really dumb. Um, so the first one that I have a problem with is the protecting the women's health at home and abroad. Um, it rescinds the Mexico City policy, which is a ban on U.S. government funding for foreign nonprofits that perform and promote abortions. So why would we're in debt, right? Okay, why would we be sending money? overseas or anywhere to promote their abortions just don't understand all right so um, that is the first one that I have an issue with um, all right <laughs> establishing a president's council of advisors on science and technology um, he wants to be sure that he is told about every policy that affects science, technology, and innovation. Like he's some Elon Musk or something. Like, he needs to say so in that, right? Biden can't hardly remember his last name. And, okay, yeah, that's super important to sign an executive order on. I'm sure you couldn't have got Congress to agree with you on that, you know, since Democrats stole it all. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of that, actually. We're not even going to talk about any more executive orders. Like I said, when they get 2A related, I'll be talking about them a whole lot. You can guarantee that. So, uh, next, we got... This is the big one today, guys. This is what really, really irked me today. So, Nancy Pelosi today calls Republican lawmakers that are pro-Second Amendment the enemy from within. So... I feel like she's trying to literally, I feel like she's trying to make people like me so paranoid and so freaked out by what we see going on that she's trying to make somebody do something crazy. And then if that happened, if somebody did something crazy that they couldn't take back, then what happened? Their plan accelerates rapidly. So that's what they want to have. That's just the way I'm looking at it. So now, if you're pro Second Amendment, the people running our country are saying that makes you the enemy? What was this country founded on? I can't believe I'm watching this happen in front of my eyes. So, yeah. Um, I hope our Republican lawmakers hold their ground. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know where that's going to go. I'm going to sit back and watch from my house in the woods. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for January 29, 2021. That's your 2A News with 2A Tarzan. Stay in the woods.